previously on Sons of the Forest. What is up YouTube, how you doing today, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we are back here playing Sons of the Forest. So without further ado, let's just straighten this video. So in last video, we ended off on this side of the map because we left the big cave we were exploring. And we got the gold armor and some night vision goggles from exploring that cave, so that was pretty good. And we are back here because this was the closest base to the exit of the cave. So... Um, yeah, but in this video, we are actually going to the other side of the map to build another base. Because currently, right now, we have one here, we have one in the middle of the map, but we don't have one on the uh, other side of the map. But I like this base. Um, come here every once in a while, but right now, I would like to go to the other side of the map. Because there's a pr certain place over there I want to build that's a lot safer. And I'm obviously going to come back here because I like this base. I like it a lot, but for right now... We're going to head to the other side of the map. So the first thing I wanted to do before I do that is I wanted to show you guys the tower. And I actually fixed it a little bit because when I left it, it was kind of, wasn't the best looking, but I fixed it up a little. I furnished it a little more and yeah, it's a lot different than it used to be. But yeah, here's the new living quarters. And I, as you can see, I made a stairway going up to the roof, but the new living quarters are a lot nicer, I think. Here's the new thing I added which I really like, which is the roof right here. And I think it's pretty good. I have the zip line going right here, and I could use the hang glider on any side I want now. So yeah, we are going to head to the other side of the map, but before I do that, I need to do one thing. And that one thing I wanted to do was come to this big waterfall. Now there's a reason I want to come here. Oh, they're playing Crunchy Wunchy. So I wanted to come here to get this. The Knight V. This is one of the new vehicles added, and it's. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, the Knight V does require batteries, which I don't have any of, thanks to our trip into that cave. Alright, well, we're going to take the Knight V to the other side of the map, so I will see you guys when we get there. But I'm just going straight up the mountain. Ooh, look at that. We almost got struck by lightning there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I will see you guys when we get there. But yeah, here we are. So we are going to be heading down there. So yeah, we are back down here at the big lake where we entered the cave, which is over there. But this isn't where we're going to be building. We're going to be building next to it, in fact. So let's head over to our building spot. This is where we are going to be building. So both of these islands are pretty safe. But the bigger one has a cannibal camp on it. So we aren't going to be building on this one. We're going to be building on the smaller one. So yeah, let's head down to our building spot. Yeah, I love the night V. It makes things so easy, especially jumping from high places like this. Oh. Wow, that's pretty easy. But yeah, these are... 
This is the safest place to build on the map, on these two islands. And one cool thing about this island is that it has a road that goes along it too. I mean, the big one does too, but this one has like one that goes right down the middle. So hopefully mutants will no longer attack us on this island because it should be pretty safe. Here we are at our lake that we're going to be building on. Wow, look at this place. See, so yeah, this is where we are going to start our build on this lake. A pretty nice view of the mountain right there. And I think here would be a good spot. It's, all, it's already flat too. I mean, it's a road, but it's already perfect flat land. So I think we're going to start our build here. Let's begin getting some wood. Alright, time to take it up there to start importing logs because one thing is I don't actually want to destroy all the trees in the area. Just like I did with the tower. I actually want to keep them here. So now we have a zipline system that goes all the way down to the island. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's start getting some wood. So, so make most of it. Let's clear these guys out. All right, well that takes care of them. Bring up here because I'm never gonna go up here. Hey, take that guy out on the tree, Virginia. I'm gonna pull it. No longer attack my mutants. Alright, so it appears I cannot wear gold armor while getting wood because I just got attacked by another blue mutant and it killed me and now I'm here. Let's loot this camp real quick. Stupid blue mutant and Virginia didn't kill him on time. He just hit me once and I died. Oh, wow. All right, well, let's go to sleep. See you in the morning. All right, it is day one on our mission of building this house. And yeah, we've just died already. Wow. We can just eat them raw. We don't even need to cook them. It's pretty weird. My flask, and we shall head up to grab all of our logs, but then we will start building. Head up to get some logs. Hello, there, you made it. See, I'm using right now. So I should go back down to the island start building foundation. I have some logs. Build some fire for two. We don't need a lot of logs to build. Biggest house just yet. Enemies nearby, why is he running? <laughs> Dude, a demon. I saved your life, buddy. He was gonna kill you. <laughs> I was getting all angry. He's just chilling. It's a pretty nice view, actually. Nice place to chill. You can come back here in a second, but I need you. Follow me for a second. Glad I chose this island. I couldn't get logs with the other one, I don't think. Alright, let's get to work on the foundation now.
Alrighty, so the floor plan is finished, and this is what it looks like right now. Oh! Alrighty, so it is day two, and I think we need to go get some food now. Ooh, thank you, Virginia. Thank you. So we we're going to really quickly get wood, then we are going to start putting down the floor for the house. Okay then. Alrighty, so it is day three and we are going to get some food and then we will start on the floor Alrighty, so now that we are finished with the floor, we're going to start on the walls, and then we will do the roof, and then we'll do the front porch area over here. So let's get started. Alrighty, so it is day four, and logs are still coming down from last night when we sent them down. That's pretty cool. But um, we're going to get some food, and then we will start on the walls. Let's go explore the island a little bit while we're here. Let's look for some stuff. See, I think it's time to go to sleep. Alright, it is morning time. And yesterday we finished this part. We almost finished this part of the house and we can move on to the second floor. And yeah, we won't have much left to do after that. First, I think we need to get some food. I'm really hoping this lake doesn't freeze over. If it does, then maybe we can build a dock, but that I don't really want to dock on this. It's perfect. There's Virginia. Oh, she is. Some stuff for me. What do you have, Virginia? Thank you. Jump this part and we'll Alrighty, I think we can start on the second floor now, and then we will be done.
Hello there. Ooh. I'm just gonna shoot him, please. There we go. Alrighty, and I think we are finished with the walls. Now what to do is the roof and the porch, then we are done. So let's get started on the roof. Look. Okay, yeah, that can work. Look how much better that looks. Look how much better it looks in here now. I need to, now I just gotta put the roof on, but it is getting really dark, so I gotta do this quick. So I need these here, obviously, but I have a question. Can I remove the one in the middle? Oh, I can. Maybe that would look a lot better. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to head to sleep, but we will continue this in the morning. Alrighty, we are back here, and it is still autumn right now, which is, I'm really happy about because I didn't really want it to be winter, because so I still have to finish building this, but I feel like today is the last day. filling this in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alrighty, so after a lot of placing logs, we have finally finished the roof. Now all that's left is the porch, and then we are done, so let's get started on the porch. Important that I do this. Already we finished one of these things. It is getting kind of dark, but this is what one of them looks like. So we're just gonna put one another of these over there, and then we'll be done. We have to put the portion, obviously. See you guys in the morning. 
Oh, surprise, surprise. It is still autumn. I'm glad we have a... Uh... Oh, it's snowing. Huh. Yeah, I think it really is winter now. Yeah, look at the mainland right there. It's already all covered in snow. Well, it's really winter time. At least we have the roof on this place. Does he know who I am? Or did he not see past? Oh! Virginia! <laughs> Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Ooh. Now we need to just add this right here. And we'll be finished. Yep, that's good. Don't follow me, I'm just getting rid of these logs. Close to finishing this house. All I want to do right now is put a balcony up here. So let's do that really quickly. It's getting close to dark. I think I'll put a bed inside tonight. Sleep inside, not outside. Because it's so much. Yeah, we still have a nice view of the island right there. The mainland. There's a lot. That's a lot of my stuff. Alrighty. I think that was it for the house. Let's build a bed real quick. See you guys in the morning. Alrighty, it is the morning time now, and the lake still isn't frozen over, so I think it's gonna not freeze over. But yeah, this is what the house looks like, and I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, look at it. It's really nice. We have a nice balcony. I might put a second floor. We have to put some chairs on the porch area right here, like a bench and stuff like that. And maybe I'll put a second floor in because I have that part up there I can't really access other than when I went up there. But yeah, I think it's pretty nice. But now I have to do is finishing touches and I'll be done. So I'll clear all these logs out, put some finishing touches in, furnish it, and then yeah. That'll be it for the video. Alrighty, so the house is just about finished, and this is what it looks like. So this took a while to build, and it's a pretty big house. My biggest one yet, actually. And, uh, yeah, so I just put some finishing touches on it. I put some torches outside, some benches right out here with a fire, some solar panels that hope we can hopefully use more of in the future, but for now, it only will power some lights. And, yeah, we actually have power on the second floor, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I had a nice little wood pile. I don't know, it'd be better to show you guys in the summertime because right now everything is covered in snow and doesn't look as nice. But let's head inside. Actually, I forgot one thing. Oh, wow. It's spring. That's good. Alrighty, so let's give a proper tour of the outside now. So, the first thing we have is our little storage area, but this doesn't really matter. 
So during the winter time, I wanted a place to store my wood. So on this side of the house is where I stored all my wood. I have the chopping block here just for decoration. And this is where I stacked all my wood. It's pretty nice. So the first thing I did was put some benches in here along with a fire because Kelvin and Virginia were getting cold. So I decided to put this here. And I also put another two benches over here to just chill out. So this is pretty cool. So on this side of the house, I have two garden pots right here where I'm going to be attempting to grow stuff to heal with. That's going to be pretty nice. And there is still nothing on the back of the house. But yeah, let's head inside and I'll give you a tour of the inside. And my night V is still here. It's been sitting here since I started this build. Alrighty, so upon going inside, we have our little table. That's pretty nice. Here is our fireplace, the main one for the house where everyone sits. Kelvin just chilling there. There's an armor rack right here. So this is Virginia's bed right here, right next to the fireplace. And there's an armor rack over here. But yeah, and here is Kelvin's room over here. He's got a light above his bed and a storage cabinet. Upstairs is my room, where I have a little kitchen area right here. It's okay looking. And I have another fireplace right here. So instead of a stool, I have two little seats. Yeah, this is where I go upstairs. Now, I do actually have wires going through the place that give me electricity. Because if I go outside, I have some solar panels on the front of the house. I also have them on the back, but these two solar panels in these spots right here, I have another two on the back in the same spots. I have this nice little balcony. But yeah, I say this house is pretty nice. Eventually, maybe I'll go down here and I'll and build like a log storage thing right here. What is this? Oh, okay. I'll build like maybe a log cabin right here. Pretty nice view too. Yeah, I think so I could build something here because I don't know, it's just this big plot of dirt right here, right off the main road. I really like that I have a road going by, but yeah, I think this was a pretty successful build. Maybe I'll also build something on the other round. The reason I didn't build over there is because you get attacked a lot more, but yeah, that's why I built on this side. So that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, turn on notifications, and now there's only one thing left to do.